Hi, it's Anne again. So <laughs> I closed it, picked it back up, and look, now my box is back and I can actually resize it. All right, so let's get back to finishing this cake topper. This is Jasmine. Um, I, like I said, right before we got cut off, I did have a third layer originally designed thinking like I really wanted to layer it, but it was too much, so I tossed it. So I'm just gonna do the two layers here and I'm gonna resize it to fit in my banner here, not to resize it to the actual size. We don't know the actual size yet, but we're just making everything fit in relation to each other. All right, so here this is. Um, let's go and get the number four. So I knew um, I wanted to do a hourglass somewhere over here. The bunny ears was, was a last minute ad. I wanted the four and I knew I wanted Alice. So this looks a little funky to me. I think I'm gonna grab these and kind of, and then twist it over a little bit, maybe something like this. So you still have the height going up, but it's still touching this so you don't have a lot of open space here. All right, Alice. Alice is from Mommy Lay. She is an amazing designer. I just randomly found her on Instagram. This is, I'll show you what, um, she has a subscription, and so that's where I got the Alice um, stickers. And then if you saw my actual um, cake topper, it had also like the flowers. So I just wanna pop in here so you can see. I mean, she has the cutest little stickers. So then what happens is you have a membership with her, you get these images, and then I upload it into Design Space and I make my stickers. All right, in case you were wondering where I got that from. You can always get your own Alice. It doesn't matter. This is, you know, the, the, we're basically, even though this is an Alice cake topper theme, I feel like what I'm showing you is just how to build a cake topper in general. So it just so happens that we're doing this theme, but it's about layering, it's adding, it's kind of filling things in. Um, so anyway, get your Alice. So in my case, Alice, let me up, let me go to upload because I forgot what I named it. So I'm going to view all and I'm going to show you how that works. So Alice came in a big sticker sheet. Okay. So this is how she came in. So I'm going to insert that. So it came as one big like image. So we're going to basically slice her out. So this is kind of like a good example. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit to give us a clean space. And these are also, so this is her June print and play. It's just so cute. Um, so I use this Alice right here. I also use these flowers. I put the flowers on the banner and I also put it on the hourglass and it worked out perfectly because it sort of just tied everything in with this simplicity, but the, the added, um, nice pink in there that went with the bunny ears. I don't know. It all just kind of made sense to me. Um, but if you want to try to get her out by your, by herself, what you need to do is we need to, um, basically get her isolated from this image, right? So what you do is you get like a circle and, oh man, come on, design space. <sighs> Killing me. All right, we're gonna unlock it because we wanna, we wanna make sure we get her in there. Her arm is sticking out. So you see in my oval right now, the only thing in there, maybe this flower is in there a little bit. I'm gonna move it out a little bit. All right, so only Alice is in there. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab the two things and you wanna slice. And this is gonna be for anything that you buy like on Etsy or Creative Fabrica. Back to Creative Fabrica, because I just remembered for the font. Um, if you want, to, and if you end up getting a membership from Creative Fabrica, I have a 30% off discount. So I'm gonna delete this. Um, it's the Useless Crafter 30. So every month when your membership renews, the 30% is automatically applied. Um, if you wanna buy just the font, then still use my link because I would appreciate it. Um, but you know, it's a one-time fee and then you have it, it comes with a commercial license and I use Hannaberry Koo in so many of my projects. 
Um, okay, so here is Alice by herself. I'm gonna get rid of the background. You can use this background as the piece for the sticker to sit on top of. I always want something to sit on top of the sticker. Um, in this case, when I did it, I used the offset and I put the sticker on the offset. But if you wanted to, you could do it like this and then you can get the offset. So on this one, for instance, we're gonna click offset um, 0.10 because I like it thinner. Okay, and my offset, I would do both in white because I feel like the black, if you don't line it up properly, um, where's my offset? Uh, maybe it didn't apply? Weird, okay. So let me read you that. So that was not 0.10, that was 0.25. I don't know. Design space, work with me right now, please. 0.10. Um, maybe if I move it over here. Okay, I'm just gonna use that and I'm gonna apply it because you kind of get what we're trying to do here. All right, so my background, I'm also gonna do in white. Okay, so I'm gonna put her on top. My two, my outline and everything, I'm going to group all this together so that it all moves as one. Let's go back up and drop her into our cake topper. And let me change this so that we can see it a little bit better. Okay. Um, all right, so let's move this over a little bit. Oh, design space. <laughs> okay, so, you know, like have her something like this, right? Um, so that looks good. And actually the sizing kind of looks good in comparison to everything else. Let's go get our four. So in my text, um, I think I changed this four and it was like one of these, I think it was this four right here. So barn acre. Okay. Uh, so type in the number four and there's my four and I, you know what, let me pull up the picture on Instagram to see what I ended up doing. Okay. So the four I did in gold to tie in with the gold background of her name. So I did it something like this. And then of course I had an outline. So let's go and do the offset and we'll just apply it here. And then I did the background in white. And then I'm gonna grab these two and I'm gonna group them together so that they get resized together. So, so far we've got all of this. It's starting to look like our cake topper, right? So we've got two more elements. We have the bunny ears and the hourglass. So. Okay, the bunny ears. I think I did this one. So you insert it. Don't worry about the words bunny, right? We'll easily take that out. So here is the file. So just go over here to the right hand side and once it populates, we can get rid of the word bunny. There we go. And I made it a little bit bigger, I think kind of like that, tilted, and it's gonna sit kind of like behind the cards. All right, so those are our bunny ears. So now let's get our hourglass. So go to images. So these are all design space images. Um, our... I'm dying right now. I'm gonna be so upset if this video doesn't record correctly. <laughs> It's when you get like the crazy, I don't know, audio issues. 
hourglass. Okay, so I think I did this one. Insert the image. And when you, yeah, I did do this one. We want to contour it because we don't need the little inside because we're actually gonna fill it with confetti. So we don't need this little guy right here. Okay, so yeah, it's the same one, right? So I wanted to put it somewhere right here. This looks about a good size for this for this cake topper. Now, um, let's do our offset. Okay, so um, you know what? We're gonna need the offset to be smaller than that. Hold on, let's delete that because if you saw it got so close right here, there's, um, you won't really be able to see the confetti. So let's, let's try the offset again and change it to 0 0.10 and see if that works for us. All right, it's fine. So we'll apply it. So now we have these two pieces, right? This is gonna be our foam. The reason why I want it to be our foam is because this is gonna sit on top and it will hide any imperfections that we have. And then, so it's gonna look like this, arranged into the front. That's what our hourglass is gonna look like. Knowing that this is our foam, I did a double layer of foam. So let's duplicate that. So this black is gonna be our foam, right? Then what you need is you need a copy of this, or actually, Let's do a copy of this. We're gonna duplicate this. This is going to be our acetate layer, okay? It's going to keep our confetti from popping out, right? So on this layer, we want to contour and we wanna hide all. We want it to be a solid piece of acetate paper, clear paper. Come on, dude. killing me all right there okay so this one I'm going to change the color let's just change it to like this color so stick with me here okay we're gonna have a duplicate this one because I ended up doing blue confetti right and I'm sorry that this is the best way that I feel like I can teach you this one I'm gonna change I ended up doing it in white but right now, like we've got so much white going on, I'm just gonna do it in green, okay? So this is our most bottom layer of our shaker. So I'm gonna send it to the back. So you're gonna have a solid white piece of paper. Then on top of this, you're gonna build, this is going to be your foam layer. Here's foam piece number one, foam piece number two. We're building a wall so that you can dump your confetti inside here, okay? Once you put the confetti inside, we're gonna put this layer on top. This is your acetate layer, or in my case, I used a, um, what did I use? Sheet protector from Avery, because it's cheaper than acetate paper and it cuts on your Cricut. So this acetate layer is clear. It's gonna sit on top and basically keep your confetti inside. So you can shake it, the confetti is gonna move within the walls, but will stay put. Then all this is see-through. You're gonna see the blue confetti. This is gonna go on top to hide everything. Arrange, send to the front. It will hide all your glue, all your imperfections. All you will see then is just confetti coming through this little hourglass. And that's it, okay? So this looks awesome. We've built it. We're gonna put it over here and it's gonna sit something like this. Now, if you like the way everything looks right now, then we're gonna grab everything. Not, so it's 9.6 inches wide. My original one was eight point something. It was a little bit under nine inches. So let's do something like this. And by rule of thumb is if you have like a 10 inch cake, then you take away two and you make your cake topper eight inches. That way you have an inch of uh, like, uh, you know, inside the cake. Um, so I always do 
two inches from there. So if you had a 13 inch cake, which I don't know if they come in 13 inches, I would make my cake topper around 11 inches. But technically you can make it 13 inches. You can make it go, you know, the whole length of the cake. It's totally up to you. But I like to do it where it's all gonna fit definitely on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock because then you can make it sturdy and stable and all that good stuff. All right, let's say we like this, right? We're gonna duplicate it. And when it finally duplicates, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work right now, we're gonna weld it. And that's gonna give you one solid piece that's not gonna show because everything else is gonna sit on top of it, okay? Um, I don't know if it's gonna happen. Okay, there it is. So we're gonna weld it. And if you wanna be really, really extra, you not only have this copy where everything's gonna sit on top, you're gonna make a duplicate copy so that it will cover, so basically the duplicate copy will be at the bottom, you have your wood dowel, and then you have the background, and then everything sit on top of it. So then that way you don't see anything from behind, you won't see the stick even. So that makes it for a cleaner look. All right, on this one, if you want, you can either keep these openings because I made this white. So I actually, I think what I did was I contoured everything. So I went to contour and I'm going to click once it pops up, hide all. So I just have a solid background and I had it all in white. So I don't think it looks bad even though you know, there should have been space because sometimes when there's space and you can see through and what you see through there, the background might be um, uh, distracting. So I sort of like this look. All right, let me see if I can just, okay. So here's the back back of it. So you see like um, a range sense at the back. You technically wouldn't see that except for the open spaces. So you know, you definitely wanna do it, in my case, in this one, I wanna do it in white. Um, and then if you duplicate it, then you have it. All right, so that's it. That's how easy it is to make this cake topper. Um, but we'll be doing different themes. I really like this one, and I love doing that hourglass confetti shaker. So we will be definitely doing more of these. All right, let me know what you think. I apologize for the crazy video mishap of the recording, um, but Hopefully I'll see you next time. Let me know what you want to see, what you liked. I don't know, anything. I love reading your comments and I will see you guys next time. Thanks again.